whose ego was at play there? The male cardinal or the female cardinal? Whose ego is causing that to occur? Decide what you think. And then I'll show you the picture that was taken two seconds before. And you can see whose ego was at play. Education has A, B, C, D, hmm, and F. So I've wondered, where did he go? <laughs> where did he go? So following my wife around at Hobby Lobby one day, there's no E. And then I went a little further and there's no E. It's gone. And then a little further and there's no E. And then no E. So this osprey is looking for dinner. Searching high and low as sees dinner coming in. Hits the water. Comes up. Does it have dinner? Bill can't tell. Take it off. And there it has a hold of dinner. When I tell you what E is, I want you to hang on to E as tightly as that osprey is hanging on to her dinner. Hang on. So here comes E. E is effective, efficient, and engaging. That's our criteria for everything we do at school. We want evidence that what we're doing is effective. We want evidence that what we're doing saves us time. And we want evidence that it's engaging to the students. Now what I'm going to share with you today, the details in the breakout sessions, what I call L to J, it's going from the L-shaped curve through the bell curve to the J-shaped curve. What I share with you meets all three criteria. It's effective, we can prove it. It's teachers report that it saves 25 to 30 percent of their school year, the time. And it's engaging. The students do the work, not the teachers. But I want you to, I want you to think about it just for what I teach. I want you to think about it for everything. Because if you were to have this as your mantra, effective, efficient, and engaging, you will be one of the best teachers anywhere in the world. 